Now, the empirical formula will show the smallest whole number ratio of atoms in a compound. Well, what does that mean? Uh, let's look at something first called the molecular formula. Now, the molecular formula is what that substance or compound actually is. This is what the formula actually is. And then the empirical is the lowest like a reduced form, reduced formula. Molecular is the actual formula. So for instance, if we had something like ethane, this is a molecular formula. This is what it really is. But the empirical formula here would be CH3. Ethene would be CH2. And then there is ethine. That would just be CH for the empirical formula. Now, the molecular formula can also be the empirical formula, for example, like water. The molecule of water is H2O, but that's also the empirical formula. That's what it is in real life, and that's what the empirical formula, the lowest whole number ratio. Same thing can be said about something like carbon dioxide. So you can have something that's both now, molecular and empirical compound that consists of 63% manganese and 37% oxygen, we can figure out the empirical formula. The first thing we need to do is make that sample, we can say that sample is out of 100 grams. So put it out of 100 grams, and then we can, from there, make the manganese 63 grams and the oxygen 37 grams. From here at this point then we can find the moles. Now once we get the moles we can put them as part of the formula. We have 63 grams of manganese. Now one mole of manganese is 54.9 grams. So that equals 1.1 mole of manganese. And what about oxygen? We have 37 grams of oxygen. And then we multiply that by the molar mass at 16.0 grams for oxygen. And that equals 2.3 mole of oxygen. Now from here, we have to get rid of these decimals. So we're going to take the smallest one and divide everything out by it. So for manganese, we have 1.1 mole of manganese just divided by the smallest one, 1.1. Of course, that equals 1. And now we do the same with oxygen. So for oxygen, we have 2.3 mole of oxygen divided by 1.1. That equals 2.1 mole oxygen. Now this is close enough where we can uh, safely round down. So uh, our formula is going to be manganese 1, oxygen 2. And of course, we don't need to have the 1 there. So here is our empirical formula. If I can ever erase this. Our empirical formula is MnO2. So we take these numbers and apply it to the corresponding element. Let's uh, look at another example here. Uh, if we have natural gas, it's a mixture of several hydrocarbons, but is primarily methane. Find the empirical formula of this important natural resource if it is composed of 74.8% carbon and 25.2% hydrogen. So again, now let's make this out of 100 grams total. So we can say 74.8 grams is carbon. 
and 25.2 grams is hydrogen. Then we take 74.8 grams and we have to make it into moles. So we have one mole, excuse me, one mole of carbon. It's 12.0 grams carbon. We multiply that out and we get we get 6.23 moles of carbon. And let's try hydrogen. We have 25.2 grams of hydrogen. Mole hydrogen over 1.0 grams of hydrogen. And of course, that equals just two five point two moles of hydrogen. Now let's take these and multiply by the lowest ratio. So the lowest one will be carbon. So um, carbon that will equal six point two three mole of carbon divided by six point two three. That equals, of course, one mole of carbon. Is that hydrogen? How many moles of hydrogen? That would be 25.2 mole of hydrogen divided by 6.23. That equals 4.0. Actually, 4.04, .04, but 4.04 .04 mole of hydrogen. So our formula means it's just one carbon and four hydrogens. One carbon and four hydrogens. That's our empirical formula.